A woman from Brooklyn is now sharing her story today about her terrifying encounter with a shark in the waters off of Fire Island. She says she screamed in sudden pain when a shark bit her upper thigh, but amazingly, she managed to free herself from the grip of its jaws. This shark attack was just one of 22 nationwide so far this year, and that includes five in New York area. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Dollar Miles with more. I didn't know it was a shark. I felt like there was something there, some animal. What left these bloody wounds on the inner thigh of Ludmila Imog was indeed a shark, estimated to be about four to five feet long. The 47-year-old Brooklynite had been swimming along the beach as a fire island on the 4th of July when she felt something swim between her legs and then a sharp pain. I felt like I had to take it off. I had to push it off from my leg. Surprisingly, Imog had the strength to pry its mouth open and then swim back to shore. I see blood and I see wounds. I'm not crazy. Something really bit me. Imog is among five people bitten by sharks during a two-day time span over the holiday weekend. She was treated at South Shore University Hospital. Driving into work, I didn't think I'm going to see a shark bite. I've never seen a shark bite before. Ludmila actually was my second patient that day with a shark bite. You know, our waters are warming and uh, um, we might... Uh, I, so, suspect we'll be seeing more of this in the future. That's the case not just off Long Island, but you can see shark activity on the East Coast in real time with this online tracker. Just last Friday in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, 21-year-old Chris Pospisil was surfing when a shark pulled him into the water. It took me underwater and I kicked it once and I let go and I swam to the top and I just screamed. I was like, Reese, it bit me. It bit me. It bit me. Help, help. Back in Suffolk County, as lifeguards are now using drones to look out for sharks, Emog is already contemplating her next dip off the beaches of Long Island. I'm waiting to be completely, you know, the wounds to heal, and I think I'm going to go back.